Once upon a time, a long time ago, far, far away, a brother and a sister were on a hunt to find the best bottle in all of the land. The sister already had a beautiful bottle with a straw design, but she really wanted to make sure that she could find the perfect bottle. They went on their hunt, they searched high and low, but they were disappointed by every single bottle they could find. Three years on from this terrible adventure, the sister was still determined to find the most perfect bottle. With so many on the market, it was hard to know which was the perfect one. So, she decided to test every single bottle to find the perfect one. She was determined and was not going to give up thus producing the ultimate bottle test. Obviously I am aware that there are other bottles on the market but I did want to use the ones that were the highest rated. Here we go. Hello and welcome. Testing, testing, one, two, Three. Probably can put that down uh, right now actually. I have been wanting to do a video like this for years. I'm, I'm not exaggerating, maybe. No, no, I'm not exaggerating. Now, I'd say two years ago there was a vlog I posted where I was trying to hunt for the perfect bottle. This has been my go to bottle for about six years. This has been, for me, the ultimate bottle. However, in recent years, there have been many new bottles on the market, and I feel like I want to know what's the best one. You hear the people, the people are like, Oh my gosh, Chili's is the best one ever. I will never buy another bottle ever again. Then you hear people like, Hydro Flask is my life. See, the possibilities are endless, and we need to settle this for once and for all. So number one is, is it easy to clean? How easy is it to get in there? Because some spouts on the bottles are very small, meaning it is not easy to clean. Number two is how easy is it to drink? What's the spout like on the bottle? Is it nice to drink out of or not? Number three is the design. If I like what it looks like or not, but obviously that is personal preference. Number four is durability. How well will it last? And the last one, probably the one that people care about the most, cost. Now granted, yes, there is no denying that this video was expensive to make and I was planning when I bought all these to do a giveaway. I was like, oh my gosh, this would be the best video because my viewers know how much I love bottles and I can give them some of the really pricey bottles. And then it dawned on me that that is the most unhygienic thing to give my viewers bottles that I have drunk from. Instead, I'm going to have to give those bottles to my friends and family. Obviously, I'll wash them out. And I'm still trying to think, maybe I'll buy some more bottles to give away to you guys. Maybe the winning bottle. So, one of the first factors that we're actually going to test is how long a liquid stays hot for in the bottles. Because a lot of the points of the bottle is that they stay keep the bottles warm. Now I'm also going to take you through what ones we have. Here we have the A6 bottle. I actually think this was a knockoff on Amazon because it was like only £6 and normally they're about 50 and it is one that is rectangular and fits in your bag. I'll link them all down below. Up next we have the Clean Canteen which I have seen quite a lot. It has got a sports cap spout. Now normally on the metal ones they are actually a screw cap and for some reason I feel like Personally, I don't like drinking from a metal spout as well, which was so expensive originally I got it on sale for £17. So I was very excited about that. This is just one of the classic like heated cool bottle designs. We then have this Chili's one. This one's my sister's and she is a Chili stan. They're her favourite bottles, so I've just pinched one of hers. Again, the heating cool function. I feel like the Chili's and the Swell bottles are kind of rivals. Then we've got the 24 bottles. This is a new addition to my bottle collection and it is so cute and flipping tiny. I got this for Christmas, which kind of sparked the idea of this video. Then we then have the Dopper. This one donates 5% of its net turnover to the Dopper Foundation, which reduces plastic pollution and provides clean drinking water where people need it most. You can screw this off and you've got yourself like a little wine glass thing. See, this one does not have the cold and hot function. Then we have the Hydro Flask, the wide spout one, and it says colder, hotter, longer, happier. Dig running bottle. Now this one you actually bite down on to get the liquid out of. You can open it up which I guess makes it easier to clean as well. It doesn't have the hot and cold function. One I've had for years and years, um, and it is a Contigo 
auto spout. So we are doing the heat test now and I've boiled up some water here. Now I actually read that the hydro flask isn't supposed to have liquid in it that is more than 94 degrees. So we've got to check that all the water is at 94 degrees when we add it so that obviously it is a fair test. You only want to change one variable. A bit too hot still, it's 98 degrees. So we're just going to let that cool down. The hydro flask has a massive wide spout and you can get different attachments for the hydro flask. Obviously that is more money. Whereas all the other ones come with just this one spout that they have. Okay, we're still at 96. Let's have a dance break. <laughs> Flipping that is hot, that is a safety feature. Flipping neck, too hot. On the point of that, the 24 bottles and the clean canteen aren't actually designed to keep liquids hot for 24 hours, which probably explains why they're so hot to hold. The main function of the clean canteen and the 24 bottles is that they are lightweight, but can still keep your liquid cold and hot. This one feels so much better, to I could actually hold that. Literally perfect. That one is the best to hold. It literally feels like there's not even a hot liquid in there. I'm gonna have to reboil the kettle for this, but don't worry, I have noted down the exact temperature and exact time that we've put them in there for. I mean, you stopped basically the whole kettle. I won't lie, these two are the winners for holding. Oh wow, that has dropped drastically. Oh, she has stayed hot. So far, these two are the ones that are winning. Hello, so it is now quarter to five, and I'm not gonna lie, the bottles are feeling cold on the exterior, and some of these are supposed to stay hot for a really long time, so I don't know what that's about. This one has uh, got normal drinking water in, so I'm just gonna sit. That was really stupid. But that temperature, which is prime cold drinking water, is 17.9, so if it's anything around 17.9, that means it is not hot. I checked all of the temperatures and I was actually really surprised at some of the temperatures. Some of them didn't stay hot at all and some of them did really, really well. At 63.3 degrees, 60.9. And then we dropped from 60 degrees to 42 degrees for the swell. But we dropped down even more drastically to 22 degrees, 19 degrees two hours later. Hi, it's 10 o'clock and I thought I would do the last check. We'll start off with the chilies because that's when we always start off with 50.6. That's dropped quite a lot, 31. The Hydro Flask, which is 53. Still winning and then chilies. But obviously this isn't the only factor that we're taking into consideration for bottles. There are many other factors which we will get onto. Also what I found interesting is the biggest and the smallest. Uh, are the two that stayed the warmest. I wonder if by the morning if they'll still have liquid in them. Hello and welcome back. It's the next morning, it's currently 8.30 a.m. I highly doubt that any of these waters are still hot because I think they all last for about 12 hours. You never know until you try. I will be amazed. The swell, I don't think this will be hot at all. Yeah, 21.6 degrees. So the swell is no longer in this part of the competition. Then we have the Hydro Flask. Okay, so we have the feedback. Now the feedback is a little bit confusing because obviously I put the Hydro Flask water at 9.20 whereas I put the water in this one. So I'll just check in 10 minutes how much this is. Yeah, I'm going to check in 10 minutes on this one. Okay, it's actually been 15 minutes because I got a little bit into my breakfast. Chilies, then it's official that Hydro Flask is the best at keeping its temperature. I know you've both put your best, hardest work in. You're both great bottles, you're doing a great job, keep going. It's been 24 hours and you're still hot, but there's only one winner. There's only one girl that can win tonight. If I look at my Tyra Banks and Britain's next one. Anyway, and that winner is Hydro Flask. It is won by a whole two degrees. The Hydro Flask has kept its temperature. This is gonna be so hard to clean. I think that's literally how I'm gonna have to clean it. Is it gonna fit? It can get in the corners, but that's... Right, another thing to know about this cleaning, cleaning this one, is this one obviously has a straw. So for this, you need a straw cleaner. Um, so again, this bottle is actually pretty easy to clean because it's got a big spout and you can put ice in it. However, the actual straw means it's a bit difficult. This one, great to clean. And then you've got all the different sections. So it's super, super easy to clean. Which again, we've already established, really easy to clean because it's got 
this I cleaned all of these out and I've actually found the easiest ones to clean are the Hydro Flask, the Dopper and the Sig because you can either take them apart or they've got a super wide flask. Then these guys, no, because look at how the heck am I supposed to clean in there? Hello and welcome to the family. I genuinely feel like I've got a family of bottles. How many kids is there? One, six, seven, eight, nine. Love it. They're all welcome here. We don't discriminate. We love them all. How do we begin for the drinking spout? Well, I know I love this. This is probably my favorite drinking design ever. I love a push and a straw because this one doesn't leak. It's also got a hook. So if you accidentally press the button, it's not gonna leak all over your bag. And I love this one because it's so small and it's lightweight. Like it can fit in your bag, no problem. It's, I really like, it's so lightweight and my shoulders get really sore. Um, and a good thing about this is in London now, there are so many places where you can fill up your bottles for free. And I feel like you don't even need a big one because you can just find a little destination to fill up. The one thing I would say is that it's got a weird lip. It like fans out, which makes it a bit weird to drink from. And it's got the taste of stainless steel, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but I do really like how lightweight and cute. One of my favorite designs and it's baby pink. It's just very cute. Now we're gonna go for the swell bottle. Quite leak proof. There is no getting this lid off. However, it is quite heavy because it is double wall ins insulated. Mm, that is, a th it's very nice and thin, this lip. However, it's the drinking from the stainless steel. I'm just not the biggest fan of drinking from stainless steel. Up next, we then have the chilies, which is similar to this one. However, they are such different weights. Obviously, this one's insulated as well, so that's the main reason why. Um, but it is really cute. This is my sister's all-time favorite bottle. I think I prefer the drinking on this one as well. It doesn't feel as stainless steel, and I don't know why. Up next, we then have the Sig. Now, I've never actually drunk from this. This will be my first time. I really like the design of this bottle. Now, this one, I'm a bit concerned because if it leaks or not, because obviously I've never tested this one, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty good in there. Now, this is for runners, and I think it's got a weird... That's weird. I get why it's good, because you can literally just bite it up. You don't have to worry about it. Remember at school with the Lucas Aid bottles where you go... Oh, yeah, you got a little spray there, a little tinkle. Oh, it goes really far. Mm, I quite like this one. It's quite enjoyable to drink out of, actually. Although I know some people would feel a bit like a baby drinking from that spout. I just really like this one, and it's got a lot of, it holds a lot of liquid. Though it does feel like it will slip out of your hands, but then it does have the grip. Okay, up next we've got the Memo bottle, which we've already encountered. It's very tricky to clean. Weird. I quite like holding it. It feels quite nice to hold and tip up. I quite like it, actually. It's quite pleasant to drink out of because it doesn't have the stainless steel taste. It's quite a nice size drinking apparatus. Um, and it is so nice to hold. It's very sleek, although I would feel like I would get judged in London just whipping this out, being like <laughs> on the tube, do you know what I mean? And then up next, we've got the clean canteen. Mm -mm. It's one of those ones that guggles. Can you hear that? It doesn't come out in one fluid motion. It's like blah, 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 blah. That is a shame. I was really rooting for this one. Then we've got the Dopper, which has obviously two ways of drinking. Obviously, I messed that up yesterday. You can drink it like this. Very nice, standard little screw cap bottle. It's actually quite nice to drink out of. And then you've got this way. So if you're going on a picnic, got a nice little drink. Cheers. So for you more civilized bunch, you don't like drinking out of bottles. This one's quite nice, actually. I quite like drinking out of that. And the fact you've got two options. So it's really nice on the hand because your whole hand nearly goes around it. And then you've got the Hydra Flask, which is quite a big spout. Also something to factor in, do they fit in car hold, in cup holders? Because I know the Hydra Flask doesn't. And the Contigo fits in some. Mm. No, I had to wipe my nose. That is too big. And also, can you imagine if you're driving, you go like that and you've got water all over you. This one, when you're driving, you can literally do it with one hand and be like, pop, put it down, flip. You're sorted. Whereas this, which is maybe why they've got the straw function. Now for the drinking, I think you probably all know what my favorite drinking is. It's the Contigo. I just love this bottle. And then I would probably say my second favorite is the Sig. I just really like that. However, I know that these are People get really irked by straws. So if you are wanting a spout, I'd probably say the Dopper. So this is priced from cheapest 
to most expensive but bear in mind some of these are on sale and obviously this was bought a while ago this was bought about three years ago so all factors taken in I actually am finding this really hard to give an overall winner because each one has such a different element. This, this chili has really impressed me. It's a good size, 15 pounds, and it keeps the water really hot and really cold. So I feel like chilies might pivot at the post because the Hydro Flask is just so expensive. If someone were to say to me, pick your favorite, I want to try this one with a straw, but that defeats the purpose because it doesn't come with a straw. I think the chilies has to be up there. Second place we're actually going to go for the Doppel because of its drink, it was nice to drink, it raises money for charity, it's easy to clean, the design is nice, it's not too overpriced, £12.50, but this one is so lightweight than the straw of this one. Okay, for third place, write in the comments down below who you think should win it. I hope you've enjoyed this, guys. Let me know down below what your favourite bottle is. I know that this is probably going to get people being like, Oh, you forgot about this, you forgot about this. So please let me know down below. I hope you've enjoyed. Peace out. Love you loads. Yeah, thanks for watching. Now I've got to find people who want all of these bottles, quite frankly.